The summer of 2010 was an unusual season in Southern California. The cold, damp June gloom lasted all summer because the Pacific Ocean stayed exceptionally cold all year long. Even more unusual, huge schools of tiny ocean shrimp called krill swarmed our coastal waters this summer. Normally these creatures stay far out to sea in deep water, but due to the unseasonably cold water temperatures this year, they schooled close to the surface very near shore. These combined oddities led to the rarest event of all. Following the krill so necessary for their long migrations, in numbers never seen before in our lifetimes, great blue whales massed off the Santa Monica Bay to gorge, and for a brief time, we enjoyed a sight few people have ever seen. Wow! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Always seems to be two in a row. Wow, he's going down. Heading out to the Redondo Canyon, a 2,000 foot deep crevasse in the Santa Monica Bay, just off the Palos Verdes Peninsula, we grabbed our cameras and launched the devilfish to see this once-in-a-lifetime gathering firsthand. With spouts up to 39 feet high, sighting the blue whale is the easy part. Feeding deep in the canyon, a blue whale only stays on top for four or five breaths before sounding again. With only about 30 seconds between breaths, this gave us just two or three minutes to race closer to the whales for a picture. If we took too long, we missed the shot. Oh, I didn't get it! I know many of these images look bouncy or blurry. It's because we were hardly ever in the right place at the right time. Wow, he's really great. Ooh, tail, tail, tail. Oh. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah. Oh, that was good! Whether due to their enormous size or to their temperament, blue whales are not given to acrobatic displays like other whales. In fact, it's considered rare to even see a blue whale show its flukes when it's sounding. Luckily for us, with such a large gathering of whales, even a rare fluke show became a common sight. A nice breeze blows in Whenever the big fella cracks a grin and won the time Wow, God dang, oh look at that, oh there's his tail, it's coming oh. up, you get it, yep. of all types are endangered. Scientists estimate there are only about 10,000 left worldwide. Off the west coast, scientists believe the blue whale population to be only about 2,000 whales. In a typical season, only 20 or 30 whales might be sighted passing through our waters from May to September. In just 30 days in September 2010, experts estimated that nearly 200 blue whales gathered in the Santa Monica Bay before heading south. Here's a weird fact. Whether out of necessity or desperation, scientists have learned that blue whales have been crossbreeding with other species of whales. Eleven cases have been documented of blue whale, fin whale hybrid adults in the wild. And researchers off of Fiji believe they photographed a hybrid humpback blue whale. Humpbacks are the ones that jump out of the water. You have to own a boat to imagine how scary a hundred foot long blue whale hybrid jumping out of the water could be. Ah! He's racing you! Turn the right there! Woo! I've been boating on these waters for 35 years, and in all that time, while I've seen many whales, I've never seen a blue whale until now. In just two days in September of 2010, we saw over 30 blue whales, maybe more. I may never see another blue whale again in my life. 
but I have seen the great blue whale, up close and personal. In September of 2010, something happened that the experts never could have predicted and may never understand. We saw the largest gathering in our lifetime of the last of the biggest living creatures that have ever lived on this planet. And this is what it looked like. Wow, wow. Oh, wow. That's over that, baby. The blue whales have moved on now, on to their even colder Antarctic homes. I can only hope a few of those great blue whales will remember with peaceful thoughts and affection the devil fish and our short visit. I know I'll never forget them in the amazing September of 2010.